Good morning. It's Thursday, March 4th. Today, I want to talk about Andrew Cuomo, the New York governor, whose favorability rating stands at minus 11%. That's minus 11%. Now, that's lower than Donald Trump and slightly ahead of Ted Cruz. So he's not in very good company. So because of these triple scandals that he's involved in, Many Democrats are asking for him to resign. And later on this week, the state legislature will get together and vote to strip him of his emergency powers. Cuomo, who was once the darling of the TV circuit for his daily reports on the actions that were being taken by New York, at his direction, fighting the COVID-19 probably should resign. Now, Governor Cuomo was granted extraordinary governmental powers last year so that he could enact sweeping orders to close businesses and enact health directives amid the pandemic. But now, because of the uh, scandals, the dueling scandals that are going on, the state legislature is prepared to repeal the temporary emergency powers given to Cuomo. Now, some of the powers, some of the statements, some of his commands will remain in effect for 30 days. And those are mask wearing and social distancing. And they could be extended further. But the legislature would have state of emergency joint resolution and have the ability to change any directive that Cuomo brings forth. There's no question that giving Cuomo those powers early in the pandemic was very important. And for the most part, he exercised them very well. But that time has passed. And while we still need quick responses, the legislature doesn't feel that Cuomo should necessarily still have those powers. And they have vowed to act quickly in the event that that's needed. So they're going to strip him of his powers. And why? Well, it's a triple whammy. It's a triple whammy. The first thing is that the Cuomo administration was found to have undercounted the number of COVID deaths in nursing homes. And his directive that compelled nursing homes or similar facilities to admit or readmit people who are positive for the virus was very bad. The major problem being that nursing home residents who died in hospitals were not in, included in the accounting. But in many people's eyes, the fact that Mr. Cuomo continually touted New York's performance saying its nursing homes and homes had done better than most other states, turned out to be a big lie. And I think to this day, we don't have the complete death totals. So in the eyes of many, Cuomo was a liar. And in had, trying to enhance his image with the public, this did not go well. It's a major faux pas, as they say in the vernacular. It only came to light when his top aide, Melissa De Rosa was recorded admitting the administration had purposely withheld the data. And of course, Cuomo didn't have a good answer for that either. And of course, to this day, Cuomo has not apologized for all of these mistakes. And mistakes is being kind to him. And now he's been accused by three young women of sexual harassment or unwanted sexual contact. So we have lawmakers from both sides of the aisle, as well as advocacy groups calling for an investigation into the accusations. And in many cases, they're calling for his resignation. 
Now, Cuomo has minimized the claim. The claims in my mind are serious because of the power of the individual accused of the acts. Asking a subordinate about her sex life and asking a former aide to play strip poker are not in keeping with the actions of a powerful man or a powerful woman, for that matter. You can't kiss people without their permission. And the governor claims... I think I was being playful, and I think I made some jokes that I thought were funny. Well, that's not the way powerful people are supposed to act. That's the way assholes act. And while he thinks it's not such a big deal, it is a very big deal. It is going to cost him the rest of his career. He's accused of other flirting incidents. And that's all going to take him down. It's incredible, in my mind, that a guy who was riding high a couple of months ago is now down in the snake pit, where he obviously belongs. You know what's the terrible thing about this? The family, the Cuomo family, in my mind, has always been regarded highly. His father was the governor of New York, a very well-respected politician, His brother is a well-known news figure. I know many people don't like his brother either, but that doesn't matter. He's still a well-known news figure, and he hasn't done anything like Andrew has done. And he did have the COVID and survived it. And there are many people taken aback who thought that Cuomo was doing a good job, and now they have to eat their words of praise for him. So it's terrible when people rise to heights and can't control themselves and expect people to believe everything they say after the fact. I think with this blight on your record, Mr. Cuomo, you have to pack it in and go quietly into the sunset. It's not where I thought he would be right now, but you see, you can't tell a book by its cover. And so... I think I've said enough this morning. I think it's very difficult to be a public figure nowadays. And by the way, today is March 4th, and according to the QAnon, Donald Trump will return to become president again. So watch out, watch out. So I'll say goodbye now, and I'll see you in the morning. Bye.